Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go through what the best Pokemon are for farming Herbamist to get through Terror Raids in the Teal Mask. In the Teal Mask DLC, we have a whole new host of Terror Raid Pokemon that we can go out and hunt. There are, of course, the three, four, five, and six star Terror Raids, as we saw in the Paldea region. But we have a whole batch of new Pokemon that we can go out, battle, capture, and get very good rewards from. Of course, in today's video, we are focusing down in particular on the Herba Mystica drops that the Terror Raids give. Now, only five and six Terror Raid dens will give out Herba Mystica. And of course, to unlock five and six star terror raids, you're going to have to have complete the main games in Paldea, as well as unlock the six star terror raids, which you can do by unlocking the Ace Academy tournament, speaking to Jack, and then eating 10 terror raids after this. If you want details on this, we covered all of this in a previous video, which I'll link up in the top right hand corner for you now. If you do want to check that out after the video, if you still need to unlock six star terror raids. Now, in the base games of Scarlet and Violet, there was a particular number of Pokemon that we really wanted to concentrate on going after to get multiple Herba Mystica drops from to increase our chances of being able to get better drops from Terror Raids once we'd complete them. The same can be applied in Kitakami, but the number of Pokemon that we're actually going to be hunting down is a lot fewer. In Kitakami, you're only going to have 25 Pokemon that are obtainable through the 5 star raids. From these 25, 4 of these Pokemon are going to drop multiple Herba Mystica at one time. These Pokemon are going to be Snorlax, Dusk Noir, Mandibuzz and Basque Legion. Every other Pokemon in 5 star raids has the ability to drop Herba Mystica, but they will only drop one type of Herba Mystica, meaning that you're probably not likely to get multiple drops of Herba Mystica when you beat these Pokemon. But if you go after Snorlax, Dusk Noir, Mandibuzz and Basque Legion, the chances of having multiple drops is highly increased. So these are ones that you want to look for if you're going after five star terror raids, but it's a lot easier if you're going after these six star terror raids. The one issue with going after five star terror raids is they're not indistinguishable from three and four star terror raids. So it does mean that you're going to have to go around the map and look at each and every one of the terror raid dens that's available to you at one time to check if it's a five star raid or not, which can be very time consuming. This is why we look at six star terror raids for farming Herba Mystica, because they're a lot more distinguishable than any other raid. You can tell them apart from everything else because of the coloration, and you'll only get one appearing on your map at a time, which makes it a lot easier to identify the Pokemon that we'll be going for in six star raids. Now, unlike five star terror raids, there are only three Pokemon available in six star raids that drop multiple Herba Mystica from one terror raid. There are 28 Pokemon in total that can appear in six star terror raids, but three of these Pokemon are the ones that we're going to be wanting to hunt and go after every time that we do see them in our games. These are Snorlax, Basque Legion and Poliwrath. All three of these Pokemon drop multiple Herba Mystica and are the Pokemon that we're going to want to go after specifically in our games to make sure that we maximize our chances for getting as much Herba Mystica in as short amount of time as possible. Now to utilize this method as fast as possible, you want to open up your map and locate your six star terror raid den and then head out to it. You want to check the den if it is one of Snorlax, Poliwrath or Basque Legion, go in and beat the Pokemon. You can catch it if you like, but it's not a requirement, but you will still get the drops from beating the raids. And because these three Pokemon have multiple Herba Mystica drops, you're going to have increased chances of getting multiple Herba Mystica from your reward screen. If you check the six star terror raid den and it isn't one of these three Pokemon, you can then use this handy exploit to respawn the den, giving you another chance very quickly at getting the target Pokemon. To do this, what you want to do after you've got your map open is hit your home menu, come down into your system settings, then into system and then down into date and time. Make sure that your synchronized clock via the internet is set to off and then click into the date and time itself and toggle through with A. Don't change your date, don't change your time, just toggle through all of the options here until you get that OK button and then hit the OK button. Once you've done that, hit your home menu and then come back into the game. You'll see all of your terror raid dens will despawn and new ones will respawn in their place. It's as simple as that. All you're going to want to do at this stage is locate that new six star terror raid den, head over to it and check it once again for one of these three six star terror raid Pokemon that we are looking for. And another tip that you can do, I've never really had much success with it myself, but when you find one of these Pokemon, you can also increase the item drops from the terror raid by setting up a picnic 
and making a sandwich with the specific raid power that relates to the terror raid den. So if we've got a Snorlax that's a normal type, we'd set up a raid power level 2 for this den before going into it. And then we'd get two extra item drops at the end of the raid when we beat it. And there is a chance, a very small chance, of these additional slots being Herba Mystica. Like I say, I've never really had too much luck with it. You can set up raid power level 1 for the specific type of that terror raid den and that will give you one additional slot. And you could potentially use Herba Mystica to set up level 3 raid power for that specific type, which would give you 3 additional item slots. But spending Herba Mystica to get Herba Mystica when there is a chance that you'll get no Herba Mystica feels pretty risky and not really worthwhile. That's why I would say level 2 raid power is the one that you would like to go for. But as I mentioned, I've not really had much success with it. Maybe you do. If you have had success with these additional drops in getting Herba Mystica, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to know how many people have actually had success with this or if this is just something that a lot of people talk about without much return. Now, as we're going after only three Pokemon out of the 28 new six star terror raids, I am going to give you some builds that are going to be useful against these specific Pokemon. Snorlax is going to spam Yawn throughout its time and a great Pokemon to go into this raid with is Annihilate. It does have the ability Vital Spirit so it cannot be put to sleep. It does have the ability to use Screech as well which can lower the defenses on the Snorlax as well as being able to set itself up to increase its damage with bulk up as well so you can utilize that and you can also use the moves rage fist and drain punch between the ghost and fighting type attacks that you've got on the annihilate you're going to have pretty perfect coverage against any sort of terror type that you'll come up against when going against this snorlax polyrath is a little annoying because it does have the move haze so if you're utilizing any techniques where you're lowering its defenses or you're boosting your own attacks you are going to be susceptible to it using his and removing all of those staff drops that have taken place up to that point in the battle. So in these cases, it's probably better off just going in with a strong type against whatever terror type it is. It can be tricky if Polyrath is something like an electric type Pokemon because the ground type that you would be generally bringing in against it is going to be weak to its water type attacks. And the same can be said for Basque Legion. But Basque Legion doesn't have a specific move like Haze that removes decreases to its defenses or attack boosts to your side of the field other than when it nullifies effects and abilities on its side or your side of the field. Generally, a water type like Azumarill is going to be very good against Basque Legion. It's going to be able to set up on it with the Belly Drum pretty easily. If you've got moves like Liquidation and Play Rough, then you can pretty much cover most bases against whatever terror type the Basque Legion will be. And you're not going to have to worry about its stab attacks either with something like Azumarill. So Azumarill, Annihilate, and then the outlier is going to be something like Polyrath is going to be a little bit more trickier to deal with just because of that haze option that it has on there. You could go down the route of using something like a Taunt user, but as soon as that screen goes up on the Polyrath, you're going to have a little bit of a hard time shutting down that haze because taunt is blocked through the screens. Five star raids are a lot easier to deal with. Again, some of the tips that we've already talked about for the six star raids will be applied to the five star and they're a lot easier to deal with as well. But again, five star terror raids are a lot harder to identify. This is why I would suggest you are going specifically for farming Herba Mystica to go after the six star terror raids as you can despawn and respawn these dens very, very easily and identify them even easier, making them a lot better to farm for specifically Herba Mystica in the games. But we did a similar video to this for Scarlet and Violet with all the raid dens and what Pokemon was specifically better for Herba Mystica drops than others. And I wanted to do the same for the Teal Mask. There is a lot smaller numbers to deal with in Kitakami, but these are the Pokemon that hopefully make it a lot easier for you to go out and farm that Herba Mystica, which is going to make shiny hunting in these games a lot easier. I hope you've really found this video useful today. If you have, please drop a like on it. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Skull and Violet content. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Good luck farming the Herba Mystica in the games through Terror Raids, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.